One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. Yo, what's up everyone? It's Harry Haas here. And today I'm just going to be doing another kind of weekly recap, going over some trades for the week. And um, I'm also just going to, you know, I'm going to be kind of brushing over some things that I have kind of like recently been seeing like in my DMs. Like one big thing has really been just like people not really knowing what stocks to avoid going long or like maybe how I look at stocks when they first pop up on my radar. So I'm going to be going over some stuff like that. And um, yeah, just also some general trades. So I'll just get right into it. Um, so I just wanted to kind of just briefly brush over some long traps. I know this may be a bit repetitive because I do talk about this in some of my other videos. But I mean, obviously, some people are still kind of having some issues where, you know, they see a, a ticker come up on their screen. And a lot of the times with longing, like, it can be sometimes a little bit different because, you know, when you're a long trader and you hear X, Y, Z popping immediately, you're like, man, I got to jump in on this one. If, is this going to be the next big thing? Am I going to miss something? You know, and that is just complete FOMO, right? When you get in that mindset, when you get kind of just in that kind of, uh, I don't know, almost like a sheep mentality of just, I'm going to chase everything that's up. If I see green, I'm going to buy you know, and, and you're not even thinking about like technicals or, or a daily level or just stuff like that, that can be very, very dangerous. Because a lot of the times in main chat, uh, when people say XYZ is popping, it's usually A, to alert for a potential short position, or B, um, you know, it's brand new, or, or you know, maybe even C, and, and this is the kind of rule that I like to say, is that if it's a stock that really hasn't been on my radar, but has already kind of moved a little bit, maybe it's transitioned over to the backside, we get that kind of notification, everyone's saying, oh, XYZ, XYZ popping, bullish XYZ, you know, I usually take a step back and say, okay, let's, let's kind of evaluate this for a second, right? Let's take a look at the stock and, and you know, what, what is my reason really here to buy it? Um, and a lot of the times there isn't really a great reason to buy. A lot of the times it's under VWAP, maybe it's a, a VWAP test, maybe it, is, it had made its run already. Some of these stocks are making incredible runs at, you know, 5, 6 in the morning. Um, they're making incredible frontside runs at 5 or 6 in the morning when I, you know, I'm not necessarily like at my desk trading at 5 or 6 in the morning market time, right? Um and, and that sometimes is, is the real front side on, on some of these tickers. I mean, it used to be uh, like 8 o'clock and 7 o'clock were, were early. Now it seems to be that 4, 5, and 6 are now the really early moves where, you know, it's either an algo or it's some type of random pump. I don't think most people are awake slamming the buy button at, you know, uh, at 4, 5, or 6 in the morning. I, I could be wrong. Like, I'm, I'm not sure, but... Hey guys, my name is Toss Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line, and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. Sometimes we'll, we'll get these stocks where they'll have those incredible runs in the morning, they, they transition to backside, and by the time, you know, it's it's 7 o'clock market time or 8 o'clock market time, people have kind of forgotten about them. And, you know, once in a while, we'll get someone in chat that will alert and say, uh, you know, oh, this is pushing, this is pushing, and it's already really on the backside. I kind of say to myself, okay, is this something that I really need to be involved in? And I, I take a step back from it, right? And, you know, that's something that, that you can do is say, okay, well, this ticker's on the backside. You know, there's a lot of resistance we need to get by. There's a lot of fighting involved. I'm going to take a step back and kind of leave these be. And that's something that you can do, right? Um, so a lot of long traps do come when the stock is on the backside. It's so funny because when a stock's on the front side, everyone is, is, is never in a rush to buy it. 
they see a stock on the front side and they're like, ah, I don't know, I don't know. You know, they watch the stock for 15, 20 minutes. Maybe they have a bit of FOMO. They see that first dip. They jump right in. This is going to be the one. This is going to be the one. And then they end up kind of taking a loss on it for kind of getting in a bit too early, right? And w when we get that kind of first pullback, recently, you know, it hasn't been working super well. Or maybe it's a small pullback, but I mean... Uh, in the in the and I'll go into like one or two examples of this of three stocks that I kind of avoided today. But I mean, for me, like I just really haven't seen um, that type of stuff working super super well. Um, another long trap that I've been seeing is the lower volume. Um, a lot of the times we'll get these kind of lower volume stocks that seem to kind of start creeping their way back up. They're not really the hot chick. People think, oh, maybe this could be the next one. Maybe this could be the next one. And they end up kind of stuffing into a resistance level or just purely fading. And people are wondering why they've lost on it. Well, you probably lost on it because it is kind of a lower volume stock, right? It's a lower volume non-hot chick stock. So it's not something that you should really be, you know, too interested in. It's not something that you should be too involved in. It's not something that you should even really be giving a second thought. You know, I get a lot of DMs all the time. Harry, how come I lost on this ticker? Can you tell me? And I, I, I just say, you know, well, number one, is that, was that the hot chick this morning? And they're going to say, well, no, it wasn't. Then why are you trading it, right? Um, I made these little cheat sheets. Um, eventually, I'll probably end up making a textbook just for me trying to, like, cure FOMO. Um, and, of course, they're always for free for everyone. Um, you know, of just me trying to kind of cure FOMO. FOMO and I'm just kind of bored and I'll take a concept and try and make like a diagram into it and if people like it then you know it's good it's yours to keep right if it can help you out then that's awesome right but you know I made a diagram where it said and I believe I, I talked about this in a, a prior video maybe two videos ago or my last video where you know I bring up the kind of cheat sheet and it says is this stock the hot chick if it's not the hot chick stock don't even bother with it. Leave it alone. Right away, don't even bother with it. Leave it alone. Like, if Alex or Val or, or me or anyone else is not saying hot chick on the stock and you just get a random idea that you're like, oh, maybe this one could be the one. Maybe this one could be the one. No. Avoid that. Avoid that at all costs. Leave it alone. Okay? Don't, don't touch it. <laughs> if you're thinking, maybe this one could be the one. Or the classic. Maybe they'll rip it. Maybe they'll rip it this time. Who is they? Right? Austin had a great webinar. Um, I believe it was his last one. Who is they? Right? Um, you know, you can't count on them or they. Um, you know, it's got to be a hot chick stock. Got to be doing good volume. You know, lower float. Maybe some float rotation. That's better. But if it is a, a non-hot chick stock, then that's not something I'm looking at. Caputo. No, not looking at it. Another long trap is when something is very under VWAP. This usually falls in the backside category as well. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.